Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Emergent Stays Invitational, Season 2, Week Number 7, our current semifinal inbound between Reciprocity and Rise Nation. Reciprocity won a bunker five rounds to four on their map choice. Now we enter into game number two. The Rise Nation trying to make their bet, rather their second grand final back to back. Of course, on the cast, it's Landon Lano Sanders, aka Porky Pig, along with good old Taylor what? Reflections Noble. But 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 I I didn't know how to close out the end. How there. you gonna call yourself Porky Pig, my guy? I tell you what, man, it sounded very similar. I'll be honest with you. Nope. I'll happily you know hold that title for now until I prove myself otherwise. All right. Well, hey, Porky Pig. That you know, I've I've never heard anybody call you that. Never say that again, my guy. Never say that again. My guy, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to you know, I don't know. Rise Nation currently with A and C. Reciprocity with B. This, in fact, Rise's pick. We talked about it time and time again. Rise loves to dominate on this very map, but they have done so in the past over and over again. But a great hold for Reciprocity is four members, three members rather, go down, potentially the fourth. His Lancer Fire is, in fact, taking one of the places. He drinks down to a very low amount of health. The last one is going to be pushing up. I believe that's a Vexy, he says. The kit comes through, and Reciprocity. Takes this round. It looks like they actually reversed it. They did a good job. Rise was leading for quite some time. And then in the end, reciprocity is Rise. Tried to get that OE. Tried to go for the domination. They got a little bit too greedy. Reciprocity shut four of them down. And then the fifth one to follow with Drix. And they take over the round. They do. Good stuff coming in from Rack. At least off the start of this one. And that's going to be the kind of pretty much the same picture that we have to keep painting is reciprocity. Keep trying to dive in and do as much damage as you possibly can versus Rise on their map choice. Keeping in mind, if you did watch week number six of Emerge Days, it was Rise Nation who won this map of District five rounds to one. I'm sure that's definitely kind of settled in the mind of Reciprocity. It's something they were probably very aware of, and that clutch on Bunker was, hey, you gotta keep in mind, we played, we played against these guys on District just last week, and we did not look good whatsoever. Woo! Powers comes through hot, blitzing off the rip. Takes down the young gun on the other side of Inzen. Powers doesn't stop there, takes shock out. We'll focus attention on Detox as he hits another great shot. That's going to be three off of mid. And he'll go ahead and OE his way over towards Alpha to take that over. We have a player for Reciprocity of Spawn. They're going to get their home hill. This fight now with Drix is huge for Kenny. Drix needs to get a touch. <laughs> Pops over a little bit too late. And Reciprocity leads the first half 2-0. to zero. And a great push, man. I, I can't highlight it enough. For Reciprocity for that mid-fight, taking three players down was absolutely critical. Yeah, powers coming through really made a, a massive difference when it came down to that middle side. And it's direct, I believe, what at the end just... I mean, not tall enough to reach over that ledge, you know? So close, yet so far. Good opportunity. But that's what you want to see at a reciprocity. Like we continue to talk about, this is what they need to have happen. You almost don't even want to think about a game three versus rise at this point. Why'd you look at me whenever you said not tall enough? Why'd you look at me like stare straight into my soul when you said, oh, he's just not tall enough to reach over the ledge? Yeah, it's a coincidence, you know. It's just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. It's not a coincidence with you, man. You know what, Taylor? It's not a. It's not a big deal. Listen, there are a lot of people out there who are also five three. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you did not <laughs> just call me five three, bro. <laughs> On a good day, powers. Oh. Unfortunately, not having a great time. A decent headache up close as Enzim also will fall. Blood everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be rather unfortunate. It's about to be a shock. <laughs> Takes on Frey and the veteran, at least in this particular situation, ends up winning out. Kenny doing some damage over at Cinema as Drix will, in fact, be found. A nice cleanup for Reciprocity as they'll actually now go and reference back to their own home hill, cap that one at the same time as the neutral. The loss for words, let me compose myself. Reciprocity off to a great start off the initial. As Rise Nation will be stacking down low, looks as if they're going to make that OE over towards Alpha. And with that drop on Rush, he's, yep, the push is going to come through. You see Reciprocity rotating in. That's going to be led by Powers and Icy, as the fifth one will, in fact, be joining, or at least the fourth one, rather, is uh, player number four franchise. He's going to hang back on a Bravo to kind of 
hold his own in a 1v2 potential against Insum as well as Detox. Franchise falls, and Reciprocity wins this fight over at Alpha. This could be a domination Ooh. coming into play, and it looks as if Reciprocity is, in fact, winning this. Now it's up to Franchise to hold his own. He doesn't. Bravo gets capped. And now the fight for Charlie is going to take place. It's a good rotation from Rise to keep them alive. It was looking really scary. But that was a good rotation from Reciprocity. Some crucial wins overall. And that's why they do have the lead that they have. This is a big round, right? You don't want to be down 3-0, Rise Nation. They need to step it up here. But Rushies, he's going to be on his last life. He also took some time to spawn in as well. Reciprocity, it's going to be a big hit for them, especially if he falls 4v5. And obviously, you don't need to even be any sort of expert to realize how that situation, how that team fight most likely will go. Maybe in line of that franchise of science going back up here at Cinema. He does have some teammate support, though, as the entirety of District covered by weapons. Look at this, Detox. Maybe thought about it, had the temptation to want to try to go for that overextension. Tosses out the flash, wants to distance out powers, and he needs to go for this fight nice and quick. Ooh. Manages to take it, and now it will be Icy who has to reference back. And look at this. This will be a collection of Rise players trying to make this three versus two pinch happen. Icy, he'll get tagged up. He'll eventually fall, but took one before he dropped officially. Every hill up in limbo. B cap from Rise Nation. A as well, nearly in their hands. But it's Franchise who makes the smart play, references to C, and in the meantime of that also occurring, oh. it's Powers and Rushies who are dominating over at B. Franchise letting the opposition know what just occurred and how they are about to win <laughs> this third <laughs> round in a row. Rushies, oh, no. a few words to say to Rise Nation. Oh, no. Reciprocity with the beatdown at the end. That is huge, man. I, I got to say... Franchise holding his own, maintaining Charlie was massive. That fight for Bravo, absolutely critical. And they capped it out at 250. Rise struggling, thinking, what can we do to win? We've looked so strong on District in the past. Right now, we are struggling. And Reciprocity is doing everything right, it seems. And Cinema now is going to get a little bit more interesting as we switch over now with the drop shot. And this fight is going to be critical, but it makes me even more worried for Rise Nation because these initials have been in the hands of Reciprocity non-stop. Yeah. And we've seen that man Rushies up close. Yeah. Do so yeah. much work versus the opponents, even in their round one game as well. Looked fantastic. And place here yet again, tosses out the early flash. Unfortunately, nothing found except for a few extra body parts from Shock that now enters into the employee exit of the cinema, Enzim also drops, has to hope that his teammate will be able to go for the revive, and he will. Shock and Co. still alive. Franchise did all the work he can. He'll take another one as Enzim doing some fantastic work, and you notice Drix instantly going for that overextension at sea. That's actually about to be a two versus three for Rise Nation. If you're Drix, you'd probably like to try and a lot for him to back up. Tagged heavily as he'll run back into Bandstand, but Reciprocity, they're not happy with how aggressive Rise is feeling. They instantly want to get on the attack as well. And you love to see that from Reciprocity. They're now in a rush to possibly go for the OE of Rise Nation. It's potential, right? You know, it's, it's really interesting off that start that they let Rushies go into the mix and try and grab that drop shot, knowing that he had the lowest life count. He had the lowest respawn economy, and because he goes through, he gets taken out off the initial, he's now down to zero out of four, and he's got to play his life accordingly. So sending him in, a bit questionable. Now he's forced to backtrack. He's over at Charlie, right, just kind of maintaining that. But this next push is going to be big. Rise, they're trying to maintain Bravo, but with that drop on the powers, I think they're a little bit more comfortable, and now you do see Reciprocity rotating back. They know Rise. They're going to be pushing in four strong onto Alpha. Oh. got to make this stop possible, but the drop comes through. It's yes. going to miss, and that's huge, right? You want those drops to miss. You do not want to lose your life because of it. Shock, I believe, has one more left. Let's see if he can make it oh. count. He does with two players, Rushies and Icy. I feel like you had to expect that if you're Reciprocity, however, they can't get out in time, and in that loss, Rushies will have no more lives for this half. Silence at the perfect time for Rise Nation as they have the hill control, they have the scoring advantage, and they have the player number advantage. 
All signs positive for Rise Nation. We'll see if they can keep this up. Flash tossed out of X. He's just trying to at least escape for a short time and just to do so. Icy's also getting taken down. Kenny, the only player that's currently on the map, is Avexi's. Oh, nice. Silences him in just a moment's notice. Icy, he's here for the late showing. And Avexi's is there to punch his ticket. And that will be Rise's chance to finally get a round on the board. A much needed one on their map pick. Well, they threw the drop shot down, right? They wanted to switch things up a little bit, force that engagement on that neutral hill, and that's exactly what happened And Rise. They capitalized in that moment. Good stuff from them. Like I said, the only thing I would change, overall, that initial rushes, I know he's going to be your main man to get through, maybe, you know, get that quick pick on the drop, but in the end of the day, his respawn economy didn't warn it. It didn't justify it. You had plenty of players who were sitting at three or four lives, four out of four lives. Towards the end, obviously, that changed drastically as Rise was just absolutely slaying out. But that initial could have been just a little bit better. But Rise played that great. Yeah. And they do take one. They stopped the bleeding a little bit. But this is a start, right? This is a start. I feel like if you're reciprocity, as you called it, if they had that overextension back, you probably do things differently. You have three players. One of them, like you said, being Rushies, who was already hurt in terms of life count. Just can't afford to rush that, however. Out of sight, out of mind. Speaking of out of sight, Rushies can hardly even see, yet has the most important weapon on the map. Thankfully manages to escape. Fires a shot into the back of Shock. This will also fall. All positive for Reciprocity. They will find the first three. Detox at least has a finger to wag before he'll have to fall as well. That's Frosty winning the OE, and honestly, rather the initial, excuse me, the OE could be possible. And you see Rushies, he's ready for it. Drix, how much longer do you want to hang out there for? How much longer do you want to hang out to dry before I fire this explosive? But I like that play from Rushies. Back up, reassess, and maybe watch what could be an OE opportunity. Regardless, you want to have that drop shot, in any case, available for either fight. Franchise about to be in a 1v2, holds his own against Shock, picks up the meat show. Can he force his detox out? I got to say, I have been very impressed by Franchise, not only on Bunker, but here on District. He's consistently in those 1v2 situations, and he's holding his own when it matters, when it counts, pushing Rise off of the hills or off those crucial spots, right, where you have that angle for the Lancer Fire onto the neutral hills. So you expect that from a veteran, and he's performing like one today. So I got to say, he has been impressing me time and time again. Reciprocity once again, reminiscent of the first half. Looking very poised, looking in control, 134 and counting. As they're in control of D&E, you do see Rise thinking of their next attempt. And they look like they're going to be stacking three strong on E. And it looks as if it's going to be Icy oh. to be the first one to stop on Rushy. Threaten the needle on Avexis. Lovely shot from Rushy's. And I love what that does to the confidence of Rise. If you're Reciprocity, hey, let's fire out this shot. Let's at least put in the back of minds of Rise Nation. We can't go for this, right? We can't make this overextension. Now we're going to have to force the issue Maybe over at the other side. Well, hey, that's where Rushies decides to rotate oh. himself to. He actually misses the shot. Multiple flashes tossed in, and Rushies is not really affected by the second. Gets one knock. Not able to finalize anything. Lots of players around Rushies right now. He'll at least take down Drix for his troubles. Other drop shots available. Keep in mind the time. Rise Nation, they need everything to go their way. Uh oh. Shock. He'll find the first. F. Still up in limbo, but Fran wins a huge fight. And no one's going to get here in time. This will be Reciprocity's round. And it looked somewhat positive for Rise. It looked like they had a chance, but Fran, he wins the big 1v1, as you called it. The veteran coming up in the biggest of moments, and he does so exactly in that moment there. And you have to question, with the lead that Reciprocity had, should they have committed so many resources for fighting for that drop shot? Because at the end of the day, yeah, if you win the drop shot, is it going to be enough? Because you still have to traverse all the way across the map sure. to get to neutralization on one of the hills. So at the end of the day, Rise, you know, they made a decision. They went for it. Was it the right one at that point in time? The points kind of just got away from Reciprocity. So I got to say, Reciprocity off the initial, they're looking strong. They're looking strong mid-game. 
and even carrying themselves into late game, they're looking great. Rise Nation has a long hill to climb, but mind you, though, on Bunker, Reciprocity did make a 4-2 comeback, yep. a little bit lower this time, but there is a potential for Rise to make this comeback possible as Rush is forced to back off, comes back in onto Shock. Unfortunately, though, it looks grim for him. He gets dropped. Kenny from the flank, though, will take Shock out. Detox up ahead. If Kenny makes this happen, which he doesn't, that would have been massive. Franchise, though, comes through as well. There's still potential that Wreck is going to walk away with the drop shot, and they will. Franchise clutches up at the end, wins the drop shot, and Rise is hurting three players down. They are bleeding in every sense of the word. Enzem, thankfully, at least wins the fight over at E, but instantly greeted with some shots Enemy spotted. from the All-American and Icy, Camo and all. Rushy's perfect placement. Enzem's noggin flies across the map. And we saw what Reciprocity did with this drop shot a few rounds ago. The dominance and the ability of what he can do. The way that he can rotate around the map and just cause havoc and rise his camp. He'll actually fire out that drop shot, I think, a little early. I like the confidence, and he nearly timed it perfectly, but in that spot, imagine if he has it now. Imagine after all the knowledge that he's gained, what he could do at this moment in the round, regardless, Rushy's can't reflect on what just occurred. He has to be aware of what happens now. Ryan's just around the corner of that E Hill and Reciprocity's hands. Cinema, not really much of a focus right now. His powers. He's focused on what could be a future pinch. And Rise, this is the issue that they're going to suffer. They can't really back out, right? They can't really supply forces elsewhere. They have to engage because Powers, little by little, the more information he gains, the quicker he'll start to rotate and allow for Rise to feel uncomfortable. And Shock and Enzim could win this fight on Rushies as well as Icy, specifically because Shock still has that Shock in his possession. As a big fight up top, between players of uh, Franchise as well as Avexis will be going down. Franchise has been known to win these over and over again. Avexis, though, is finally going to get one over on him. That is going to be F. So now D and F, both home hills, going to be in control of Rise, and the fight for E is taking place. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the players from Reciprocity that just fell. That's four down. Icy, not much left to do as Rise Nation bringing it back. It looked like it was Reciprocity's round for a while. I mean, what, maybe just 30 seconds ago we were talking about Power's placement, the ability for him to make the rotation around and possibly close this one out. Unfortunately, not the case as Rise still hanging on. As you talked about it, Taylor, it was 4-2 comeback. It was a 4-2 comeback, rather, that Reciprocity made on Bunker. It would be a 4-1, of course, if Ryze closes it out, but a similar situation. Ryze's map pick, District. A lot of pressure in this round for them. Respawn's not much of a worry for anybody outside of maybe Enzim or, or Detox, as they'll be at two, but this initial, it means everything. Here comes the flash. Ooh. Actually, Enzim doesn't even try to go for that drop shot side. He'll instantly try to make the rotation and go for the Head-on engagement. Reciprocity wins out regardless, and Icy now has the big boy in his hands. I love the push from Enzim just a little bit too much. A well-placed shock drops two of them. Drix was last up, but you do see the players from Rise starting to slowly oh, come no. back. But Reciprocity all up in the face of Rise. Franchise now looking at a swarm of players coming his way. And he's going to get one. He's going to get two. Eventually, he's going to be finished wow. off. With the drop shot comes through on the detox and shock. And Reciprocity will take over the victory. 5-2 for a 2-0 victory to finally secure their spot in finals. After so many weeks, Landon, they've struggled to get to this point. But we are finally going to see what's reminiscent of week one, two, and three, that NRG versus Reciprocity final. Unreal stuff and well-deserved MVP at the end of that round.